Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be like, this is gonna be a rant video. Never play like this guy, Billy A5. This guy's actually like unbelievably dog shit. He does not deserve his rank or anything. He probably has an insane win rate, and you get I'm gonna, I'm gonna discuss that later. The thing is that you could deadass play whoever you want. Everybody spent seventy dollars on this game, and if you want to play the like cheesiest characters, if you want to play the most, you know, get whatever whatever characters you want to play. Especially like Broly, Beerus, any of those characters that, you know, you're mainly playing them to old spam. I don't give a shit because this game is meant to be a, like unfair on balance. And that's the fun of it because this game is like trying to be like, I guess, accurate to like what Dragon Ball Z is. But yeah, I'm, I'm low-key putting the brakes on him. And the reason why I'm really stressing these things out the way this guy plays is because what comes after. Because go ahead, play the cheese you want to play. Play old spamming as much as you want. The thing is that when we get a rematch and I destroy you, don't leave the fucking game. And I'm not gonna lie, there's some parts in this match where I literally just got fucking like, I just got unlucky and my shit didn't uh, work because you guys know, like, when, whenever you're trying to switch your character and your shit is, like, is able to switch and you just can't switch or sometimes when you use a special move while they're falling, the special move doesn't work, but it seems like their shit always works. Or when you knock them away, like, you're able to hit the special move, whatever. So, basically, I'm here, like, smoking him, you know, putting in my work. I'm basically playing Goku. He can't really land anything on me. I'm getting really good, like, chip damage. He's, you know, getting damage back. It's kind of like... I I'd say I have the edge. I literally got behind him. I don't know what the fuck happened here. Literally, bro got the most free damage in the world. Just because of that. This guy doesn't know how to fucking challenge a vanish. And so he just gets his like he gets his like combo um counters here and there. But basically he he's going to he's gonna try to transform as much as possible. I don't know what he's doing because like I said, this is my first game back. I don't know like what the new fucking strats are or whatever. And so I'm just charging up my key, you know, playing the way you're supposed to play. And I'm i I'm putting the works on this fucking baby Vegeta too, remember. I'm still on my Goku. I have three more characters. He only has two characters to play me, uh, play with me, uh, like against with me. And this is where his like, it's th like the fucking his colors start to show. Because if you guys don't notice, he has like full um, full uh key. And so this is where his true like playstyle comes in. Because you see, I'm put, I'm fucking destroying him. Literally, he has like, he, <clears throat> I was I, like my Goku was basically full HP, and I usually save my Goku for a fusion. Here he gets really good damage on me, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, this whole game I've been getting insane damage. And this is where like I actually like actually start losing. And it's because this little home this he turns into a uh, great up a a Vegeta. I'm not gonna lie, this is like probably my third time ever going up against a big character, so I didn't really know how to deal with him. I just knew that like on some of uh, like videos where I saw like people talking about it, that uh the way you're supposed to deal with them is just blast attacks. And just using range attacks. I don't know if that's the best way. So basically, we both go into sparking. I really don't care because I know I'm a because I I need to hit my spare bomb or something. Here he gets like a shit ton of damage off doing this. I I should have just pressed circle the first time and countered it. I didn't really know how to counter it. So I basically get this down, ba do his entire HP right there, and then I charge up to try to get a Kamehameha off. And then he does the same thing. Now I know to actually counter it, and. You know, for some reason this lands, even though like after I countered him, I went for a block right away. But I go to this character, I, I literally go for a Kamiyamiha, switches to Barris and blocks instantly. I really don't care. And then he starts to do his fucking crazy technique where he just keeps on spamming um sparkings. And look at this. Look at this. I know not to fucking let him out of sparking because I know when he hits me, what's going to come next? An ultimate. So look, I literally vanish. Vanish. And I win the fucking vanish thing. I just know not to let him go into vanish, so I start comboing his ass up. So look, I'm I'm going ham on him right now. But the thing is that he's max key because he went into um like he, he went into vanish. So after a key bass, then he's like, fuck, I'm about to lose this. I, I'm gonna just start uh, spamming this. And you see, normally he would have lost. Like e even though taking out like taking out my Goku, he would have lost to my Vegeta. But look look at him. Straight into another another fucking sparking another sparking he comes and this is basically where i lose because it's just it, it's literally back-to-back -back ultimate special moves and i i literally can't do anything because he was special move special move special move so you know you know play like this 
at your own will because like the only reason why he was able to get an upper hand on me like in this um game was because i just came back so i don't really know how to like i was still good but i still you know you're either way you're always going to be a rusty at a game goes into sparking again <sighs> while he's in sparking cooking him the fuck up still cooking him the fuck up but the thing is that i'm pretty sure i lose one one the whole like literally every time we vanish i'm pretty sure i won unless i completely ran out oh no i literally lost this just because i ran out of key game over literally game over just because of that bro went to sparking maybe three times in one match and he was able to go to sparking with beerus and you see that's the way he plays sure play play like a pussy if you want play any way you want but when the rematch happens don't run because look this is this is where the rematch is about to start this is where i dog this little shit okay so look when i lose i leave it i lost i lost i take my l honestly i wasn't even gonna make a video on this i literally wasn't gonna make a video i didn't really care about the loss usually when i lose i really don't care the reason why i'm caring now is because of this match this match is what pisses me off the one where i smoke him this is right after i didn't even rematch him because he don't want to rematch he declined to rematch but when we went to q again i got him look look, look what happens here literally one game of warm-up he uh, i literally warm up in my rank matches this is my first game warming up look at this look what i do to him this combo you can't really land it on good people i'm not gonna lie good people know how to fucking uh like counter that combo it still kind of got unlucky there i press a circle and for some reason my character goes under floor doesn't fucking matter because i'm dogging the shit out of him look at this look at this hitting him with key blast because he does he loves holding his r1 but that's when i come in with this shit look at this look at this i don't get up get up so i could fucking clap you get up so i could clap you again get up no 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 look look he gets up for a sec Ooh, you're not hitting shit on me boy look at this he, he count he, he weaves that sure get, get get your pesky little fucking damage in because you you have a full dp like eight nine dp i forget what beerus is but look at this i'm smoking his shit smoking him look at that get, look get the fuck out my face get the fuck out my face go to the floor you fucking peasant beat his ass again i didn't even give him time this is what one fucking rank match one warm-up rank match does to me some of you guys oh so your ass my last match was considered, I guess, good gameplay. But that's me when I'm a week, almost a week of not playing this fucking game. Oh, hit your little combos. Hit your, hit your little combos. Look at this. Look at this. Put him put him in the same fucking pack. Put him in the same same pack I put Beerus in. Baby Vegeta and Beerus just don't have enough space in the pack right now. They're, they're struggling. They're struggling to be both put in the same fuck pack. Look at that. With one character, he had a 9 DP character. I don't know how much DP Baby Vegeta is, but I'm pretty sure he ha he's a pretty high DP character. Don't do that vanish shit with me. Like, I, I quite literally want him in literally every vanish. I think I only lose this one because I ran I literally run out of key, and that's basically it. And I know not to give him key because he's going to he's gonna charge up and try to go into sparking. Like, right now, and he, he transforms. I When I say I don't give him space to breathe, I don't give him space to breathe. Look at this little shit. Look at this. Oh, hit your hit your little blast. Cause uh, the only reason why I rock Goku and Vegeta is to get the fusion off. And I still don't play like a bitch. I don't I don't do anything. I just hit combos with Gogeta. I don't go to uh, Vegeta for the after image. Fuck that. I want to play the character I actually like playing. Cause Gogeta, if you guys don't know, is the only motherfucker that gets shit done in an anime. So I get I I, I start to fuse, and this is where the real demon comes out. Because when I play Gogeta, <sighs> their health bar goes from 100 to 0 real quick. Just, it's just that right, right now I was kind of rusty, you know, because I, I got used to playing my Gogeta, uh, my Goku, because I was playing Goku main of this. And look at this, game over, sh game over, right? My guy nose dives the other way. This guy was landing his fucking thing the whole time. And you see, I ended my shit. I ended my shit to fucking teleport behind him. I got... I don't want to show the footage of, like, me during this game because I actually got so tight when that happened. Look, look. Instant. Instantaneously. Okay, so that's basically it for the vid. Honestly, the point I'm trying to get across is play the way you want to play. But when, you get, when you're getting smoke, don't leave. 
I mean, like, I know the ultimate spamming, like, gets everyone annoying. Nobody wants to play against that shit. That shit's deadass annoying, just going against sparking. But as I've shown in this video, if you could play good, you could you could literally mollywop them so fast, it's insane. Literally, like, even when I came back, when I was rusty, I was able to smoke him and put him in a pack. But when I actually, like, got my first warm-up, the guy literally had no chance. Quite literally, no chance. So, if you guys agree with me, or you guys, you know, just want, like, want to listen to more of my rants, because I'm probably going to have a, uh, another video coming out, you know, ranting about this game, uh, give me a like, give me a sub, give me a notifications if you guys want to watch more of um, my videos. If you guys didn't like the video, you know, put a comment down below telling me why I'm ass at the game or something. Tell me I'm uh, it's like a skill issue. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.